Hey everyone, we're going to continue our aggression deck building with the core set, this time looking at Aggression Iron Man. We're going to try to bust through all three core set villains on normal mode, so we'll get started with Rhino. We've already got our deck set up using the Bomb Scare modular set, um, regular mode with Iron Man's obligation already placed in. So we're going to get set up down here. Oh, got to choose a player filler. Every time we'll do that. So we drew six cards. Um, Got the arc reactor right away, that's really good. Power of aggression doesn't really buy us anything at this point in the game. Um, supersonic punch either. I'm gonna keep Mockingbird, because I think stun is better than Nick Fury right now. And redraw, okay. So that's what we got so far. Um, we're gonna Futurist with Tony Stark. Let's us look at three cards, put one into our hand, the double resource, and the rest of them into our discard pile. And now we got to start making some decisions. Um, I think we do this. One, two, three, four. Four in Avengers Mansion. Let's just draw one more card. Um, and then let's pay one, two for our chest armor. We are not ready to flip yet, so we're going to stay on this side and you know, we'll get rid of Mockingbird and just draw six cards. Apparently we didn't play her anyway. Um, so he's going to gain a threat. He is going to scheme for one plus zero. And we have to deal with a hazard card, which is a crisis um, scheme that has two threat per player. So, it's our turn again. We got a lot of our uh, income cards, but first we're going to Futurist and hopefully use this to the best of our abilities. Nothing great. We can uh, put that in there. Put the other two into our discard pile. We can draw one with Avengers Mansion. Alright, so we can get the three pieces of armor this turn. That helps us quite a bit. Um, let's get the helmet out there right away before we run out of time. We can't get all this out and Stark Tower, which is kind of a bummer. Well, yeah, we can. We can pay one, two, for Stark Tower. We're in Alter Ego mode, so we can return the armor to our hand. We can go one, two, three to play the armor. It pops us up to 15 hit points. That probably lets us flip. We only draw four cards if we flip, but I'm really not happy with, with how this is going, so we're going to do that anyway. So we are going to flip. We're going to thwart away this crisis scheme so that we can really focus on the main scheme. Um, this allows us to remove one threat from a scheme. Um, this allows us to ready, and we'll just ping him for one. I'm not too worried about the one threat that's on there right now. So I hit Rhino's turn. He's going to get a threat on the main scheme. He's going to attack us for two. Only two. We have to deal with the hazard again. So this guy puts two damage onto us or one threat on the main scheme. And you know what? Let's do one threat on the main scheme. That's better for us right now. And he stays out there. Oh, and we should have drawn oops, one too many cards. Should have drawn four, one plus one for each upgrade. So we've got another upgrade now, which is great. Um, and we can actually get a lot of work done this turn, I think. So let's get going. We will remove a threat from the main scheme. We will pay one, two for a pair of gauntlets. Um, the gauntlets can ping something for one, so we'll hit this Hydra Bomber for one. And we'll just do a basic attack to hit him for one more and use Chase them down to clear off the main scheme. Um, we can ready ourselves and hit Rhino. So, cleared board as far as we're con considered. We're going to flip. Um, we'll do Futurist. So we've already used those two. Nothing here is super helpful for us. We'll take Attack Team to hand in case that works out for us. We'll draw a card. No, I guess we were never going to get three resources, so that's okay. And then we'll end our turn. So we're going to discard Attack Team. Um, we are going to draw five cards to get to our hand size of six. There's two more pieces of armor. That's great for us. 
And then Rhino will get a threat. He's going to scheme for 1 plus 1. That's 2. And then here's our hazard card. It's a nasty looking Sandman with toughness. Let's see what we can do about that. Um, we've got some good plays here, so let's let's start out with a Futurist. We'll put the Rocket Boots in our hand for now. Um, and then we'll pay for these other Power Gauntlets. We will draw a card. It's our last card. That's a bummer. It's, deck gets shuffled now, and we get an extra encounter card. Um, we'll pay for rocket boots. We've got six tech upgrades up there right now. We're gonna flip. Um, we'll use the rocket boots to go aerial, so these each hit for two now. Um, this removes one threat from each scheme. So, oh, we forgot to take our health from rocket boots, and we can still ready. So first, let's basic attack to get rid of Tough. Um, and then we can Gauntlets Gauntlets to hit him and get rid of him. Um, and then we can remove a threat from a scheme. We can ready and clear the scheme. Let's pay two for Hulk, and Hulk will smash for three. We'll see what happens with him here. We discard him because we flipped a science resource. That's kind of a bummer, but not the end of the world. And we'll be done after that. So that was our turn. We're going to drop to seven now, which is really awesome. Um, oh, we get to draw up to seven. We're keeping Tiger. Sorry about that. He gets a threat. Um, he's going to scheme for one plus two. That's three. It's getting real close to dangerous things. And we have two encounter cards to deal with. This one gains Surge because Bomb Threat is not in play. There's a Guarding Minion. And he gets an Enhanced Ivory Horn, which basically gives him plus one attack. So. It's our go. We don't have anything to make this overkill yet. Um, so let's draw one with that. And let's search and bring those rocket boots back to hand. Using, nope, oh, nope, we're not in Ulti one. We can't do that part yet. Gotta wait. <laughs> so let's use this to go aerial. Um, let's pay one, two for reckless or is it Reckless? Relentless Assault. Um, so that hits this guy for three, and the main dude for two. Should be eight. Um, yeah, remove a threat from the scheme. We need to thwart. I can't handle it being that high. I guess I can play chase them down when we killed that dude to remove another two threat. Rewinding a little bit, sorry. Um, would we rather have a Tigra? Or hit for three. I think we'd rather have a Tigra. That's a better investment overall. So we'll play Tigra. Tigra. She'll swing for two. Each of these gauntlets will swing for two. We'll ready Iron Man. He'll swing for one. We'll call that a good day. Um, so we're going to have seven cards. Tigra needs a consequential damage. Three tag teams in hand. That is insanity. But kind of cool. So he gains a threat. Um, this time he's going to swing at us for one, two, three, three damage. Here's our encounter card. He's going to be tough. Um, so that, that's that. Let's draw a card. Let's pay one, two, three for attack team, and one, two, three for attack team. So both of these are gonna get three counters on it. I'm only gonna put two because we're gonna we're gonna use them to flip the villain here. Um, in a moment. First, well, I guess we didn't go aerial, so we'll ping him for one and get rid of tough. Ping him for one and send him skyrocketing into phase two. That means we have to search for this side scheme, breaking and taking. It's going to start with three threat, um, and it's going to make us draw an extra hazard card, but we're really not too worried about that right now. 
Um, so now we'll use our two tag teams. So he jumps to 15, but he's really only going to jump to 11 as far as I'm concerned. We will remove two threat from the scheme. Fortunately, we can go aerial, but we can remove one there. We can ready and uh, remove another one just to keep ourselves safe. We got four auto damage to turn the next two rounds with these tag teams, so I'm pretty happy with that. Call that one a day. Uh, I guess Tiger can attack for two before I forget. And that's our turn. So he's going to get a threat. He's going to attack. We're going to have Tiger block. Um, so she gets smacked for four or five, whatever that ends up being. No overkill on the horn, so we don't have to worry about Iron Man taking anything. Oh, sorry, should have drawn six cards. We're going to keep this third tag team because seems to be doing wonders for us. Um, we'll pay one, two, three. for another tag team. We'll use each tag team once to do six damage. With that, gloves, gloves, Iron Man does three, and that game's over. We had Haymakers, so we have a little bit extra damage there if we need it. Um, generally, Agro Iron Man went really well and really smooth, even with a somewhat slow start. So let's get this deck Get rid of these little guys here. You may have noticed we didn't take any um, uppercuts, and we didn't take any combat trainings, because if I'm having to perform a basic attack with Iron Man, I have bigger problems. He uh, has only one on his attack. Oh, no. He only has one attack, so I'm not super pumped for uh, doing that. And uh, we can look at why here. Well, we played back we got claw all set up and ready to go trying to save you guys some viewing time by doing the setup off camera um, we'll shuffle everything just so you know that it's good and shuffle we moved our obligation card in already um, and we are just raring to get this guy done um, so we already set up his side scheme defense network but we need to now find a minion after you flip that main scheme and it's it always ends up being this tough guy i think there's a lot of those in this deck um, so we draw six cards see what we get Got one set of armor, that's not great. Um, yeah, that's that. Uh, I kind of want to keep Relentless Assault. So we'll keep uh, Hella Carrier to pay for that and make sure we trigger it. Um, and let's draw three. Okay, so this, this isn't so bad. Um, so we're going to pay three for our armor. We're going to Futurist before I forget. Um, and we'll bring Chase them down into our hand. I have a real lackluster second turn, but I think that's okay for now. We're going to flip um, and pay two for Relentless Assault. Well, we'll attack and clear tough. Then we'll pay two for Relentless Assault. That lets us put two damage on the claw. Sorry, I forgot to set that up. Um, killing this minion, letting us play Chase them down to get that down to one threat. Um, so let's group all of this up because we just played it all. We're ready. Um, we play Relentless Assault, so we got nothing left in hand. We only need to draw two cards, so we really need to flip back to this other side. Um, so Bad Guy's turn. He's going to get one threat here. He's going to swing at us for two, three total. Not so bad. Um, but we do still have to deal with the Hazard card or Encounter card, and it's going to make him scheme. It's like the worst thing that could have happened. Um, he's only scheming for two, so not the end of the world. We're going to flip, and that means we're probably going to trigger this scheme this turn, which I'm not a big fan of. So I think before we do that, we'll thwart Ugh. Ugh. this crisis away. That sucks. We can't even hit the main scheme there. Um, then we'll flip. I'm a futurist. Searching for some cards here. Um, really doesn't matter which. It's going to take something to hand and pay to to get this chest reactor out. And then we get to draw up to six cards, so that's nice. We got a pair of rocket boots, we got our stuck tower, so good things are happening now. Um, but that is the end of our turn, so he's going to get a free threat. Free threat. He's going to scheme for two, three, four, which is going to pop this to the next level. So we are looking for a minion again. 
And it's, it's that tough guy every time. He comes back, round and round to go. Um, all right, so now he can't get to eight or we end the game, which would be really bad for us. We don't wanna lose, obviously, so gotta do what we can to keep that threat low. All right, um, what are we gonna do here? We're gonna Futurist, obviously. Probably gonna take that double resource into hand. Um, we'll use these three to play Pepper Pots, and then we'll use Pepper Pots to play Stark Tower, and then we'll use Stark Tower to bring those gauntlets back to hand. Um, at this point, we can flip and I kind of want to get these gloves out. I'm not going to kill this guy this turn, unfortunately. Um, so let's pay... No, let's do it this way. Let's pay one for a set of boots. Um, let's pay one... Well, let's attack and clear tough. And then let's pay one to Repulsor Blast. So you discard the top five cards of your deck. For every printed Lightning Bolt resource, we do two, and we're going for this little minion right here. So that's one, two. It's enough to get him off the board. Um, all of our tech upgrades are unfortunately now in there. We're not going to draw a full hand yet. We will ready um, and swing at Claw for one, but that doesn't do too much for us. Um, so we're drawing four this time only. He's going to get a threat. He's going to swing at us for zero. And gain a tough card. That's not so bad. And we get a hazard. Each master minion. Search the encounter deck or discard pile for a Masters of Evil minion. I think we'll search over here because we don't need to deal with any more. Eh, no. We want an Elter because he's the easiest thing to kill. And he doesn't hurt anything we have in the board currently, so that's also good. Sweet. So it is our go. Um, let's use Stark Tower. Searching here for these boots, apparently. Um, Alright, so we're going to go... Aerial. And then we're going to pay one with this blue resource, two with Haymaker to supersonic punch this guy off the board. And we'll play these rocket boots, getting one more life. We can clear tough, ready, and thwart. Um, so we're doing pretty good controlling threat here. Um, I think we'll stay on this side. We draw five. This unfortunately all gets shuffled in here. Um, and Villain's turn. So he's gonna gain threat. He's gonna attack us for zero. Uh, we are gonna take damage. So zero, three. Um, so we exhaust our hero. Okay, we gotta ready our hero thing, so. When we get a hazard card, um, it gives him 10 more health, just what we needed. And puts an acceleration token out there. Luckily, warding is what we do best, so that should be okay. Um, we do not have our helmet yet, so we're not gonna get rid of it this turn, unfortunately. Especially because there's no minion out there. We actually need two hazard cards because we shuffled our deck this turn as well. Um, and we get a whirlwind. So there is a minion out there now. I don't know if we're going to be able to kill him, but we can try. Um, so it's our go. Let's see what we can do. Let's ready. Let's go aerial. Um, and... Sorry. Let's go aerial. And then let's bug. I really want to be able to use this double resource, but I don't think I can. So let's, we're aerial, we can supersonic punch this guy off the board. That lets us chase them down to remove two threat here. Uh, we can thwart to get rid of that guy. 
puts this back down to nine. Prevents us from getting two throughout a turn. That was our main goal there. Um, yeah, bummer. We could flip. He would scheme. Um, probably wouldn't be the end of the world to get a couple extra cards. So let's Futurist first. See what we can get here. Um, we can get a Power of Aggression. Take it. So then we can use this and power of aggression to play for tack team. We'll only put two tokens on it because we're just going to use two of the or two damage to claw right away. I'm putting him down to seven. After that, we will flip up and draw our hand size. There we go. So now we'll have five armor or armor pieces out, tech pieces. So he gets a free threat. He schemes for two, three, four, five. Seven. That's terrifying. Um, and we have a hazard card to deal with. So when he attacks us, we're going to discard a random card. Excellent. So it's Argo. It's Futurist. We need threat removal. We did not get. Oh, let's use Emergency. We never use that garbage, but there's never a time like now. Put Haymaker in hand. Um, Pepper Pot, one, two, three, to play Nick Fury, decide what we want to do with him when he comes into play. Um, I think we thwart two, let's just, let's just get this down to zero, or do we hit this guy for four, or draw three cards. Let's have a Maru two threat, I'm not super excited about that, but we're going to do it. We'll flip. Um, we'll do two to Radioactive Man to start dealing damage to him. Um, Nick Fury will f hit Radioactive Man for another two. We will thwart, ready, thwart, back down to zero, feel good about that. Um, and that's it for this turn. So we're not drawing up to the six like we wanted, but we'll keep these gloves in hand. Good, because we didn't draw any new stuff. So he gets a free threat. He's going to swing at us, but Nick's going to block for only one. So Nick doesn't die, but he does exhaust, so he's useless to us now. We got these two Chempos left, so they're going to hit us for two. And we have to discard a random card, so let's find a dice. Roll it, we're looking for a one through five. Five, Repulsor Blast is gone. Um, we have to deal with a hazard card. It's a bad thing for Tony, so let's do that. <laughs> and that's our turn. Cool. Just what we wanted. Um, yeah. So let's Futurist. Yowzers. Put that in hand. Put them down in this order. Let's return the helmet to hand. We'll pay two for those guys. We will flip. Decide what we want to do here now. I think we want to use Pepper Pots and a Repulsor Blast to get a Tigra out there. Um, and we want to play our helmets. This guy will send two fly in and get rid of that guy for us. Um, We'll ping this guy for one. That'll let Tigra finish him off. We can remove a threat from the scheme. We can ready and hit Claw for one. Um, and that's our go. Tech team is going to the discard pile. So we've now got six armors out here, tech upgrades out here. Um, so that means we can draw seven cards, which is really good for us. Look at this giant hand we have. He's going to get a threat. <laughs> He's going to attack us, and we're just going to take it. Uh, for four, maybe that wasn't a good plan. And it's Argo. 
I hate how this says it can pay for red cards, because this card's red, but it obviously can't pay for it. Um, anyway, minor complaints. Let's pay for two, get a hulky boy out there. Um, let's use Pepper Potts. Oops, sorry, I did not use the right card to pay for him. Let's pay with two to get Hulk out there. Then we'll use Pepper Potts and uh, one, two to play War Machines. So we got lots of allies out there to block for us now, which is good because that's what we need. Um, we could go Aerial. Not a huge fan of it. Uh, let's need to do one extra damage. That's not that big of a deal for me. Let's hold on to it for now. Um, so we'll use that last. Tiger will hit him for two. War Machine will hit him for two. And then in comes Hulk. Feeling hot. Well, you know what? In comes Tony for one. Ready. Here comes Tony for one more. That'll push him to here. We're going to grab that Immortal Claw. Side steam back out. Claw steam got a long time this time. I guess I should have uh, saved Tony to thwart that. Didn't think of that. Um, now it's worth it to go aerial. Remove a threat from each scheme. We got Hulk left. He can attack for three. So this guy's at 24, so he'll go to 21. And we discard a card that's probably a science. Oh, it's a lightning bolt. That's great. So it deals one to him, one to Tony. Fortunately, that kills Tigra. And does one, one, two. So these guys still have life left in them. Um, we didn't use this yet, so we can gloves for two. I guess we didn't use one of those, but that's okay. All right, so we're drawing two. Four more. We get an encounter card because bad things happened. Um, he gets two threat. He's going to swing at us, and we're going to have War Machine defend for one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Yeah, War Machine's dead either. Um, and then this guy swings at us, and we'll take the one. We get two encounter cards this turn, which means we're going to shuffle this and put an acceleration token out. So the first encounter card, um, we take two damage and claw heals two. Well, this is cutting it close. And then here... Ooh, ooh, this is... this is a lot. Well, we can defend. So we'll have Hulk defend against Claw for enough to kill him. And we'll defend against this little turd. Dang. Didn't want to defeat... delete... delete Hulk. So this goes away. Um, so, he killed Hulk. We accidentally deleted him. Now we exhausted to defend against this guy. And that was our go. So, he's at 20. We gotta do 10 damage to him. Um, and, to ward away that scheme. So, this could be rough. But we'll see what we can do. I think we can pull it off if we're, if we're careful. So, let's begin. We will pay one, two for a Relentless Assault, hitting this guy for two, and Claw for three. Kill the minions so we can chase them down. Which drops him to seven health. Um, that's pretty good. And look what resources on top of our deck. So we can spend that to go aerial, which lets us supersonic punch for eight. And that's how you get rid of Claw in the midnight hour with one health left as Iron Man. So that was good fun. That was good fun. Um, next up is Ultron. And we're back. Ultron is set up. We're doing Ultron in regular mode. So we have our Ultron drones all ready to go. We'll create a drone right away and draw our six cards and see what we get. Um, so let's definitely get rid of these haymakers, um, this relentless assault, and this tack team. We need both those gauntlets out as soon as we can get them. Only one tech piece in turn one. 
This is going to be brutal. Um, have to see what we can do about this. So, we're going to Futurist. There's a pair of rocket boots. That's good. And some chest armor. We need the chest armor more than we need the boots for now. So we'll grab that. We'll play those two. Um, boom, boom. I wish we had one more resource to play tag team. That'd be a pretty sweet turn. Um, let's flip. Oh, do we flip? If we learn scheme, we're threatened out. That's pretty bad. Um, I think we gotta flip for a turn. So we'll get rid of this Ultron drone. We're ready. Hit him. We'll swing here for four, because it's better than doing nothing with it. Uh, I guess we got our gloves left for one more. So we're only drawing three. It's a bummer turn. Got a rocket boots. So that's not bad. He's going to get a free threat. He's going to get one more threat and attack us for two. And we pay a lightning bolt or get a boost. So we will pay a lightning bolt or get a Ultron drum. And this is that card. Whoa. This is horrible. Uh, let's flip an exhaust to get rid of that thing out of the game. And it's our go. So. We will pay for our rocket boots. We can Futurist. Now we know Stark Tower is coming into our hand next turn, so that's good. Um, we got a flip ready in Thwart. Um, we'll hit him for one. We should be at ten because of the boots, and that's all we can do. So we're only drawing three this turn, um, but we do have an emergency. Doesn't help us right now. Stark Tower. Okay, so one, he's going to attack us and get one extra. Um, so he's attacking for two. What did he attack for earlier? He attacked for two, I think. I paid a Lightning Bolt, but I didn't take any damage. Okay, so he attacked for two, really three, because we take one from that boost card. And then we get an encounter card. Just to take place two threat here or take two damage. So it looks like there's going to be five threat there and we are going to be going to phase two real fast fits. So that's a bummer and it's our turn. Let's double thwarts to get that down to one because we can't afford to have that stuff going on forever. We'll hit him for one. We'll flip. I guess we could go aerial and hit him for two. It's a better use of our hand. Um, and then let's play Stark Tower, because that's going to be really important for us. Let's Futurist. Maybe we'll get a second set of boots. Not really. Um, we'll keep the armor in hand. And we're drawing five. All right, so we got three things here now. That's good. Um, he's going to get a threat, which is going to pop this thing like crazy, which creates another drone. Flips this, flips this. Back down to zero threat. Always mess that up. Alright, he's going to come swinging at us, and we're going to put a threat on the scheme. So he's swinging, oh no, he's not swinging at us. He's thwarting, or scheming for one, two. Um... And this guy will scheme for one. We get a hazard card. He heals two for each drone. Sounds great right now. And that's, that's our, our his turn. So let's do some fancy pants stuff here. Let's uh let's play P3 for the Mark V armor. Putting this back up to 11 health. We'll return the helmet with Stark Tower. A little futurist. Doesn't matter what we put in our hand because we're going to spend it all. Um, we'll pay one and two to get all this stuff out here. Seems like a good deal for us for this turn. At this point, we got a flip. Um, we will use our helmets to remove a threat from a scheme. We'll use our gauntlets to pew pew this guy. Um, we we'll use Iron Man to thwart, we'll ready him, and we'll thwart Pew Pew Ultron for one. That's all we got. 
That's it. Wimpy. Um, so we're going to flip. We're in the, the end game now, so we're drawing a ton of stuff. He's going to get a threat. We're going to let him to have two extra threat there instead of a drone. Um, he's going to swing at us and gain another threat. So he's swinging for three. Um, and we get a hazard card. We get two hazard cards. Sorry about that. So a guard and this thing that makes us discard three cards. Tech armor, tech armor, tech armor, none. Okay, bummer. Um, so it's Argo. What are we going to do with this disaster? Uh, I think we need to play Nick Fury. Wish I could get one of the. Well, let's future. Oh man, no, we're not on a futurist side. That's a bummer. Let's pay. Not with the blue resource. One, two, three, four for Nick Fury. Because he can pop this guy gone. Creates a little weenie drone, but could be a lot worse. Um, we'll use this to go aerial. So this is. This thing needs three threat on it per player. Um, so we're aerial, so we remove one threat from each scheme. Nick will then take care of that extra hazard card, so we don't have to deal with that. We'll take a damage. We'll kill this drone. Hit Ultron for two. We'll thwart. We're ready. We'll thwart. And that'll be that turn. So we're drawing six cards. He's going to get one. Um, we'll give him two extra. He's going to attack us. He'll get an extra again. He's going for Fury. Um, Fury's down, as expected. And we get an encounter card, which now makes all those Ultron drones two attack, two health. Bummer. So it's Argo. There are no drones out there. That's actually really nice for us. Um, so let's go Aerial right away. Let's... A one, two, for a supersonic punch for eight. So that'll really just pop him back up to 22 and put him into the next mode. Um, we'll hit him for four. We'll double thwart. We're the next thread, I guess. Um, Let's go ahead and Repulsor Blast. For seven. And I think that's going to be our turn. So we can ready everything up. Drawing six cards. Some good ones there. He's going to get a threat. He's going to end up with three when he attacks us this time he creates a drone unfortunately so he's swinging at us for three attack we're gonna let it be um i will spend the lightning bolt resource to avoid another drone so taking three taking one from two from the little drone because those things have two health now and two attack and we get a hazard card which is the villain schemes so he's scheming for two three hasn't popped this guy to 10. What's our go? We gotta get 11 damage in. It should be fairly easy to do. Um, but in case it's not, let's be careful. So aerial, one, two, three, four. Um, I guess we pay for a pulsar blast. So we discard here. There's three, four, five, six, seven. Seven, just enough to kill phase two of Ultron. So there you go, Iron Man aggression. It seems like everybody's pretty viable with aggression. The the hardest setup we've had so far, I think, um, has probably been either Spider Man or Captain Marvel. The easiest so far definitely been or not not Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel aggression was like like butter. I guess it was Spider-Man or She-Hulk, and even She-Hulk wasn't too bad. So overall, Aggression seems like it's a set that can really go with any hero from the core set and uh, work really well. So we'll get moving on protection videos, and I hope you guys keep enjoying the series.